everybody. I am so excited to talk to you guys about my menstrual cups. How awesome. So I just wanted to just talk to you guys because I have a ton of friends and a ton of neighbors and people that I know that have been so interested um, to hear about menstrual cups lately. Um, it's been, I think, a really big change in how we um, we're just kind of rediscovering ourselves as women and um, taking a new look on the products that we use. I think there's been a, just a higher level of overall consciousness about the things that we use in, on, and around our bodies. So today, like I said, I want to talk to you about the menstrual cup. I decided to switch over to using the menstrual cups about a year ago, okay? And I would say it took me a good six months to get comfortable and confident in using my menstrual cup all right so i want to show you how to use it like a foolproof um you know how to and if i miss anything please be sure to put the questions in the comments i'm super excited to hear from you and just interact with all of you so i'm going to show you using the smaller cup so right now these are this is what i use i have a large cup i have a small cup and i'll talk to you a little bit a little bit later about the sterilizer cup right which kind of blew my mind right so the small cup um i would say i'm gonna show you how to use um how to use okay same thing with the bigger cup it's just easier for my hand all right so well i guess i should tell you first why i decided to switch to them right so i decided to switch because i was getting some serious irritations with using pads and i couldn't figure out why so i did a little bit of research and i realized that pads have some serious serious not so good things in them right some carcinogens things that cause cancers things that mess with our ph things that mess with our hormones all sorts of things um are like soaked into pads and tampons so i said you know what let me do a research to see some let me do some research to see some alternatives and this um came up all right so i decided to switch to this and i'll continue to talk to you throughout the video but i want to show you really how to use it this is like a how to use um so what you do is, and I'm just gonna use my hand as uh, the vagina, but the cup, um, in the beginning, before every single use, I sterilize it, right? And I sterilize both cups in a, stove, in, in a pot on the stove before at the very beginning of my period and at the end of every single period, right? So I do a, a serious sterilization. So I bring the water to boil and I let it boil for um, 60 seconds, a minute, and it's fully sterilized. All the products used in today's videos was actually purchased at inspireproductsnyc.com. They also have an Etsy store and I'll leave the links in the bio. Okay, and in between I use my sterilizer cup. All right, so before this, I sterilized it. And then the first thing is kind of getting used to the folds and how to fold. There's several folds. You can find it all over the internet on how to fold, but you have to find the one that works for you. I'll show you a couple of them. All right, so some of the most popular folds is the um, you push in and you push down to get it to be kind of the smallest ring of inserting it into the vagina. Okay, so that's one way of getting it in, right? Then the next one, I would say they call it the S fold. And it's kind of like this. It's not my favorite, but that's the S fold. And then this is my favorite and I use it, I would say mostly every single time would be the C fold. It looks like this. So it's just pushing it in and creating a C like this. Okay, that's the C-fold. To me, I like the C-fold because it's the easiest to create the seal. So when you insert it into the vagina, you, you push it in like this, it, it's easy to pop open. And that's really our goal, to get it to pop open and create a seal inside the vagina, okay? So that's usually the biggest piece that everyone gets all confused and have the biggest issue with is creating the seal. So one thing I want to mention to you is this cup has like these holes at the top. You want to make sure that these holes have no obstruction, that it's completely clean and you can see through each of these holes going around it because that's a big part in creating the seal. All right. So again, you're in there, you're trying to create this seal um, inside your vagina. So when you get it in, right, you put it in, it's fully inserted. You push it in as far as you can. You use this bottom piece right here to kind of spin it 
clockwise. You can use this bottom and try to turn it around just to get this thing to open up inside. Okay? That's what we're trying to do. So if that is, and how you know you created the seal that you want, you pull on the bottom and it shouldn't move easily. Okay? So you shouldn't be able to get it out. All right? So that's how you know you created the seal. Like I said, it took me about six full period cycles to get the complete hang and in between that i used um some you know some reinforcements i have an organic pad that i used i also had a reusable organic pad that i used in that six month period just so i could feel comfortable leaving the house trying to to figure this thing out okay so it takes a little while to make sure that every time you're using it you don't um that you're creating that seal to avoid any kind of leaks how to get it out all right, so how to get your menstrual cup out. So it's in there. Usually because we're moving throughout the whole day and we are active because the menstrual cup allows us to be active and running and swimming and doing all that. Sometimes it goes a little bit up and you can't always feel it from the outside of your vagina. So you push down like you're taking a poop and this bottom part will release. You squeeze the cup at the bottom using your fingers and it and you rotate it slowly out and it will have all the content. You dump it in the toilet and then rinse it with warm water and then you can reinsert. Okay, that's how you get your menstrual cup out. The sterilizer cup. All right, so the sterilizer cup was huge for me. Really, really huge. It allowed me to feel okay using a public restroom, using the bathroom at work, leaving my house and using my menstrual cup, okay? So it's flat like this. I leave all the links below to let you know how to actually purchase, how to get them um, uh, below. So this sterilizer cup opens up like this. right perfect so now i go into the bathroom i had to change my cup go into the bathroom i wash my hands public restroom work bathroom wash my hands first i fill this cup up halfway okay now close it back up i go into the stall i take my menstrual cup out i dump the content inside the toilet then i open my sterilizer cup with my warm water put my cup inside my warm water, close the top of the cup, shake, 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 shake. The content of course will be murky, but your cup will be clean. You take it out, you have clean hands and you reinsert, okay? After you finish reinserting, you, take, you open this up, dump the content also in the toilet, close it back up. Simple, 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 close it back up. And now you're able to go about your business. So this made it really, 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 really good for me because I was very comfortable um, starting to use this in public bathrooms, at work, and on the go. Okay, so this was very big for me. The, the most, I guess, frequent questions that I always get for um, using the menstrual cup is how often should I change it? Like, you know, how often? So for me personally, on my heavy days, I change every three to four hours, right? Because, you know, the big thing is that we don't want any leaks, right? And it's leak proof if the cup is holding how much it should hold, right? So on my heavy days, I want to say I change every three to four hours. Um, and I make sure that I'm constantly, constantly changing. Like I mentioned, I think I mentioned earlier in the video that opposed to um tampons where there's always an issue of toxic shock, toxic shock syndrome with these um with these medical grade silicone um menstrual cups that's usually that's not an issue that's not the issue so with these cups they are medical grade silicone and they've been used since the 1960s in on around our body for all different types of medical uses so they've been used in catheters and they've been used for um, um, 
injections and when they're taking blood they've used it for all sorts of things even in um surgery so when we have uh breast implants or any type of implants um they've used medical grade silicone so it's not something that is foreign to our body okay so it's something that is um always um used another question that i always get is what age what age um can a girl start using menstrual cup cups and right from the very beginning a girl can use a menstrual cup so there is a smaller size than this this is a small this is the large but there is a smaller cup size that i would recommend for a very um like a brand new like a teenage girl that's just starting to um get her cycle um i'm just thinking if there's any other questions that are frequently asked um I just really like the menstrual cup. I think it's worth a try. I think it's worth, um, you know, just trying it out and seeing if it works for you. I think the benefits outweighs the cons and it's just overall, <laughs> Milo, relax. I just think it's overall just something good and I think it's worth a try. Thank you guys so much, so much, so much for listening and I appreciate um, you being here. If you have any questions, please, please, please ask in the comments and I will respond, all right? Thank you, bye.